Hello everyone and welcome to a little update on the current project that I'm working on. So I've been working on a building system. Now the goal of this building system is to have the ability to build in different ways. For example, there's world based building, there's snap place building where like you build a foundation that's like kind of offset like that and then you can start building there and it's not on the world grid because the world grid is at this rotation. And then there's also free place building where you can like build however you want. Obviously things aren't going to line up properly because it's hundred percent free. Now there are still collision checks on the free place building, which is quite nice in my opinion. So if I try to place it here, I can't, but then you can obviously disable that. So you can build overlapping stuff and um, kind of go from there. But yeah, so, so what's cool about this building system is I spent a lot of time building it from the ground up to be multiplayer compatible. So the clients can also build and make anything they want also, which is pretty cool. So you'll notice that the mesh is actually orange. And the reason why it's orange is because I'm designing it to have building state. So in games like Fortnite or whatever, you place a wall like that and it starts building. Um, the wall and the health increases. Well, those are all systems that I'm going to incorporate into this asset. Now, what's also really cool is if I just bring this over right there. So we're both in. You can edit the walls. So you can edit them to make different meshes and different construction types, which is really cool. So it's all network replicated, which is super nice. And I can edit on this guy also. Or we can make like a window in the middle. But yeah, um, it's all really, really fun. So let me just do a quick demonstration over in this area of like me building something. And then there we go. So let's build like a little hut here. Well, I don't want to build it on world grid mode. So let's build it in snap place. So let's place like something around... Let's place something around this rock. So let's put like a ramp here and get up here. Now what's really cool about this is it's so versatile. So like you can add a window there. You can copy blocks too. If I wanted to add like a little archway here. Maybe we want to like swing around on this side and kind of have like a balcony and then paste those two you can do it and it's just really fun you know it's a quite a pain to test obviously because you have to do it in like multiplayer and everything but it's like so much fun to just like mess around with and start building so what's also really cool is i don't have it colliding with the rock because it's nice to have it kind of intersect you can also do stuff like this. So I'm in snap place now. And what's cool is there's an inventory of all of these different pieces. Now the inventory I made very quickly. So let me just move this off to the side and let's grab like this staircase. So that's a kind of complex staircase. Well, obviously you can still walk on it and everything. And then let's say we want to start building up here. You can boom, boom. Yeah, it's just it's just really cool because it's using it's not something that's constrained to the collisions of this specific mesh. It's a it's an entirely custom system, which is why it's so expandable. Now I've had so much fun making this building system and I've been using uh, one of my Steam projects to like test it and make sure it all works properly. I'm gonna go ahead and create like a nice cool looking little base and then uh, um, start recording again, show you and take you on a little tour. Okay, I just finished this. Now, I don't obviously have all the art in, so it's just gray box, but here's where you walk in. So you like you walk in. See, it's very nice. All of these were cut away with the tool, which is really cool, because you can turn these into whatever you want. And obviously, there are limits to 
um, what the developer can set each block to turn into. So there's like recipe books and everything that you can create and it's really intuitive. But it's cool, so like nice little skylight here, another ramp that you can go down, I have some railings here. You can change the height of the railings if you want these ones instead, put that there. What's really cool is there's tons of different types of staircases. As you can see, this one has like railings and everything on the side. And then um, here you're on the second story. You can create these and change these to different types of pillars, which look really nice. And what's cool is you can add the railing up here to make them look really cool. Or what you can do is if you want them to look a bit different and only have them in the corner, you can do them that way. Or flip them this direction so they're in that corner only. It's 100% customizable, which is really nice about this system. And then we can take a look and go up another story so we can go up here kind of hop over here because the rock was in the way look out and then we can go up to the balcony so as you can see even the floor pieces are customizable so you can customize pretty much any single shape even the ramps are too which is really nice so you can drag on those and then make like smaller skinnier ramps and like place them wherever it's really cool and yeah, so the whole goal essentially is to be able to create and customize pretty much any of the meshes within a set of parameters defined by the developer, but it's all 100% multiplayer and yeah, so it's still a work in progress. So you're going to be seeing like little clips and everything like that, but, um, but yeah, no, it's really fun developing a system like this, especially with stuff that you can play with your friend, which is really cool, but but either way, I just want to update you guys on the next asset that I was working on. So if you want to stay tuned for updates and like kind of screenshots and stuff like that, or just join the Discord server and then you'll see a ton of different updates on basically all the features that I'm adding to this system. So anyway, stay tuned for development updates. But until then, I'll see you guys in the next update video.